What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. I bet you didn't expect to see another Track Day R video so soon. Now, somewhere along the line, so I've been playing this game in third person for quite some time now, and somewhere along the line between some of the dev builds, something has changed in the turning and such and how the bike handles that really lends itself well to first person. Now, I didn't like first person on this game originally, but in between last video and this one, where I said I just need to play the game some more, I have been sitting down, putting a bit more time and effort into it to try and get better. And I, I tried messing around in first person, and it feels so, so nice. There's something about how the bike just handles now, uh, and the, the body positions have been updated slightly, so I'm not sure if you can see like the rider actually leans forwards and back a bit more the seat in position's a bit better the elbows are higher and the leg coming out's a bit better now as well when you're in a really deep rut the leg comes out and up like it would do IRL so lots and lots of good changes so what I'm going to do is we're going to try and have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a shred today riding the two stroke because I don't give it enough uh, enough love and I think the only downside I've got about first person at the moment is you can see where the arms they're a bit shaky and vibrate now, I'm not sure if that's just like a, a wind simulation thing to try and make the uh, the clothing look different, or if it is just a case of the camera itself vibrating. But either way, it feels very, very immersive. Um, I mean, when, when I'm playing it, at least, I'm, I'm not looking at my rider's arms, you know, I'm looking ahead, trying to see where the ruts are and all this, but the game feels so, so nice, and I'm very surprised that I've not given first person much love up till now. Now, bear with me, I'm going to try something real quick, because apparently the whip physics have been changed. Or they're being worked on so majority of it's now done on the face of the jump where you uh just throw it at the start of it and it'll come back naturally i need a lot of practice to try and perfect those so i'm going to stay away from the whips for now and we're just going to try and put in some solid laps and have a rip around i'm probably going to do a few laps of uh, red bud that we've got here and then i might hop on probably won't do the supercross track again because i imagine that there'll be a lot of crashing by me on there I'll probably hop on Loretta Lynn's, probably, because that is, that is another track that I really enjoy. It tends to be a bit of a, a slower paced track, which I like. I like being more methodical and picking my way through, but I think you can agree, just straight off the bat, the flow right now... Oh, come back around. Oh, naughty little scrub there as well. The flow and the actual turns, they feel so much nicer. And I think it's all to do with the updates to the rider's body positioning. Now, I'm going to go in third person at the leap, because previously... Uh, hang on, I'm pressing my MX bikes button. Oh no, quick, 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 change, change, change. And then camera number two, yep. I'll show you, so if you can really like stretch the bike out and lean forwards in the air. So, uh, oh, get up and over it. There we go. So usually the rider would stay very, very central, but it's nice that he does lean forwards a bit more now. I've got the... Okay. <coughs> I had the pit limiter on. <laughs> I don't, don't know how long I've had that on for, but if you look down in the bottom right, you see that little checkered flag that's got uh, that's highlighted yellow. That's the limiter, and I just turn it off. I don't know why I've got it on my left bumper for some reason. Probably not the most ideal button, especially since that's the button that I use for my rear brake in MX bikes. And I'm really, really, really getting the hang now of kind of that progressive acceleration and progressive braking to stop the bike from sliding out at all. And it's very, very satisfying once you get the hang of it around here i need to at some point old rumsky has been uh mia mia the last day or two because it's been his birthday the old man uh i need to get him on and we'll do some uh, multiplayer action but I, I i really would like the guys to oh that felt nice kind of throwing it off the face of that i'd love to uh, know when the next big community update will be like the major update rather than just the development side of things because this feels so 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 much better than what was uh, publicly released not that long ago actually not not very long ago at all so i'd love to play on this field with multiple people would be very very nice very satisfying but i'm not sure what it is i, I doubt it's because like, i've not put that much more time into the game but there's something about this build now where i feel like i can actually put down consistent laps at a somewhat reasonable pace as well before even if i was trying to go fairly um fairly reserved oh my god that was a horrible kick also, the road has still been worked on. <laughs> Bear in mind, you do get weird bits like that where the road on the face of jumps might cause a bit of a um, bit of a hole that you just bounce off of. Um, obviously, it's all still a work in progress. I'm I'm glad that on all the videos that I've done this, some of you guys fully understand that. Even like, I even put work in progress on the bloody <laughs> in the video the entire way at the, um, the developer's request, which I really don't mind doing. It's nice that some people realise that and see. The potential that the game has in the same way that i do uh, but then you get some others who i think they come more from 
like the triple a title backgrounds you know like the supercross games and um the mxgp games and they just expect something perfectly polished i even i swear i saw someone say that the graphics look like mx simulator and i was like how 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 could you ever think that like this game looks unreal compared to most uh most games around there i'm gonna do one more lap of this track I'm going to switch things up. I'm going to go over to the Retta Lins because I feel like the Loretta's is a bit more challenging as well, a little bit more technical. Uh, Redbud is a bit on the easier side, you know, a bit more wide open. Double over that. I want to try and get a whip going up here. Oh, I hit the bump again. No! Oh, there we go. Right, maybe that's the next request I will make. And oh, also, are we, we're, we're rocking the gear still. I think it looks uh, rather nice, rather rather smexy. Oh god, I forgot that, that happens when you change camera. As you can see, still a couple bugs that were being worked on, but it'll uh, it'll come to fruition eventually. It's it's nice that like every single day, I, I even feel the last couple of days, I swear there's been multiple um, like development version updates, which is really really nice to see and it gives me something to do. You know, if I'm if I'm sat at home a little bit bored and I get a ping in Discord and be like, oh, there's a, there's another version uh, released. Let me go and try out, see what's new. Spin up there, and then go right up. The only thing that I think is a little bit strange at the moment, on like more so for this two-stroke, is you can kind of just go around corners in like fourth and fifth gear and just slowly roll on the throttle, and it all kind of come up on the pipe, no problem. Whereas we all know IRL, if you're going around a fairly slow corner in such a high gear, you are probably not moving anywhere anytime soon. You are bogging your ass off. So there's a couple of things that. I really don't I don't think about until I make these videos as to make as suggestions for the devs, but I'm glad that I do do these now and then because I do get to have a mess around, have a play. Alright, let's try and stay Oh, I was about to say I'll try and stay out of that rut, but I just hit it again. God damn it. And then come around to the left here. This is like my I'll pretend this is my MX bikes, uh, MX bikes of nations practice. <laughs> there you go. There's another lap there. And I think we can agree that compared to last videos speed wise and in terms of just flow and feel in terms of realism i think it's much much better playing this in first person and i'm gonna try and just do it a whole lot more often now okie dokie loretta lynn's time now i'm just gonna do the first lap in third person so you can see all of the new uh, body positioning and stuff i think standing up looks really really good when it comes to like weight in the peg leaning back and leaning forwards uh, the sitting down has definitely improved i feel like if I, this is me sat down lint forwards i feel like it's a little bit I'd be a little bit too upright in terms of the upper body. It'd be nice to be like, hunched over just a tiny bit more. I feel like I've just got a back brace on for now. But I'm going to do the first lap in third person so you guys can see what's going on. And then after that, I'm going to switch back to first and I can resume resume proceedings as normal. And you see, if I get really cranked over, the leg goes up and out like it should do IRL rather than just to the side. There we go. Which I like. I, I love that they're working on body positions as even so i suppose one of the first things that i look at when it comes to motocross games as well even in trailers and stuff so let's let's talk about legends as a prime example of this even looking at the trailer for legends i feel like there's the riders are so stiff you know there's barely any forwards and back movement it's all kind of sat in the middle of the bike hunched over and it's really weird to watch uh, especially as, uh, as as a motocross rider personally and i feel like most people that play those games are and it's always very strange to me that if you get this massive AAA company, which I guarantee that people working on it and around the scenes, they all they ride bikes, you know, they know how a bike handles, how people look riding bikes. It's very strange to me that the riding positions on those games are always so like neutral, you know. I feel like one of the best bits about motocross, I mean not me personally, I've not got the bike skill for it. Uh, but when you watch a pro just put in so much like body movement into their riding. Uh, that's why I love watching Chase, you know, with his quote-unquote perfect uh, riding style and positioning. Um, something else off the top of my head is so, like, Red Bull Straight Rhythm, which was uh, yesterday at the point of me recording this. Watching Kenny scrub that middle jump in the middle of the track and just getting so upside down. Just ev everybody loves to see things like that, and it'd be so nice to have that implemented into an actual game. Let's go back into first person. I've done my lap. I've shown you, shown you what's what, and let's try and do some riding. Uh, and I don't know if it's an FOV thing or, or what, but... When I hop into first person, I feel like I'm moving so much quicker. I know I'm probably not at all. Oh, go on, can I get this rhythm section nice for a change? Oh, almost. Usually when I go through that, I get some really harsh, um, like, slowdown physics when I hit the face of the jumps. But I'm slowly learning as well. If you sit down at the right time, you can really, really absorb the jumps and keep your bike moving forwards. 
like that landing right there, case that a little bit, sat down just at the right time and I soaked it up very nicely. And I'm also learning that there's a very fine line between oversteering and not steering enough. I find that if you don't steer enough, obviously you're just going to go in a straight line. And if you oversteer as well, you kind of, you get some front wheel kind of like tuck and loss of traction. So it has exactly the same effect where you end up going straighter rather than turning. So all the way around these corners, I'm like making very, very small adjustments on my, uh, my left stick, my turning stick, just to try and get that perfect amount of grip in the front tire. Scrub that a little bit, see how that feels. Not too bad. What's sitting down around this corner like? I mean, around the outside is fine. Usually I've stood up around there every other time. And one other thing that I'm, <laughs> I'm realizing, so on, on, uh, on MX bikes, I find that if I slam on the brakes, kind of moderately to hard, I will lock up instantly. This game's not as bad for it. So I, I come into some of these corners, like be trying to be really slow and progressive on the brakes and then find out that I don't really need to be. You can be quite aggressive. It's more so on the acceleration side of things that you've got to take your time, ease on the throttle and especially keep it on a higher gear as well. The higher gears are a massive, massive W on this game for your corner speed and exit in the corner. So if I keep it, let me, if I put in a low gear here, see how quickly I rev out. It's very easy for the back end to come round as well, but if you're in that higher gear, you don't get any of those issues. I probably shouldn't have gone inside there. I've got no speed through these now. There we go. I'll treat it, <laughs> treat it like a massive whoop section. Well, if you could blow up bikes in this game, I think I probably would have by now. One thing that I am happy with is I've greatly reduced the amount of times that I crash now. Uh, in, in the past, it, like when you crash on this game, you get bike damage and it makes the bike handle a lot worse. Like it won't react how it normally does. And for me, making videos, that is that is no bueno because it means I have to reset the uh, the track and the level completely to get a, a quote unquote fresh bike. And it's just quite time consuming. It can be quite frustrating going back to the, the pits each time to repair your damage. But, oh, get over that. No, that felt quite nice, a little bit of a scrub going on there. Uh, but now where I'm a, a little bit better than I was when I first started playing this, I can ride around, no problem at all. I haven't got to reset so much. Uh, pretend that I'm going to take all the lines and not ride off at the track and round the side of jumps. We get a scrub going here. Oh, I didn't get up and over it cleanly. Well, I feel like the game has become very forgiving now uh, in general. So aside from me putting more time in and getting a little bit better, I think the game has gotten a little bit easier to play. Um, not so intense, you know, you can ride a little bit faster now, a bit smoother. And I'm, I'm hoping that everyone agrees with me as well that first person is the move. I feel like obviously there's a few people out there that love their third person riding. Um, I'm, no, I'm no different, you know, when it comes to uh, like the arcadey games, for example. So Reflex and Legends and all those, I prefer third person. It just feels nice. And even on MX bikes, uh, if I'm just having a fun time, if I want to like free ride, for example, and just do fat whips, a lot of the time I will do those in third person just so I can see what's going on a lot more. Um, but for game, and it, like Sim, for example, Sim, I play third person. I think the only reason on that is I really dislike the first person camera on Sim, even with the uh, the gimbal enabled that's meant to smoothen things out. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I don't like it. it. Makes me feel a little bit sick. I mean, over the years, I've tried many different times to change the first person on that game. And I get maybe... 10, 20 minutes in, and I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to put the controller down now. I'm starting to get a bit of a headache, where it vibrates and moves around so much. But at least it's like other games, your head kind of stays up straight. This one's the same, same as MX bikes. Your head, your head stays facing straight the entire time, and it's the bike that moves underneath you. Whereas Sim, your head moves with the bike, leaning side to side, which I'm not a fan of. So that is, I mean, there you go. There's, there's a reason why I don't play first on Sim. That's a, an actual explanation for it, rather than I just don't like it. Is to do with how the bike moves underneath the uh, underneath the camera. I feel like a good way of wording it is your head in this game in MX Bikes is kind of always looking at the horizon. It's always looking ahead of you. Uh, and it's the bike that moves underneath. Whereas on the sim, obviously, you know, it kind of tilts side to side at the same time as the bike's leaning. And it's a little bit disorientating for me because it's not... I mean, it's not realistic, I suppose, is it? I mean, when obviously, if you're riding IRL, you are lent over a little bit. But your head is never at exactly the same angle as the bike is. You know, you try and stay on top of the bike as, as much as you can. Up here, scrub. Oh my god, that bounced me to the moon. There's some more erode issues. That is definitely something I'm going to mention. Oh, tie tap in the bales. Scrub! Thumb the brakes. And we go again. But I've been really, really, since I've changed to first person, I, I, I was saying this as if it's been a long time, but the last day or so since I switched to first person, I found myself wanting to log a lot more hours in this game than I did originally. 
often over that and especially now that we're getting some more and more custom tracks coming out for the game i'm very very excited to try them out in first and off camera i think i'm going to go and try that supercross track in first person as well to see how that goes and there's rumors going around that uh, the straight the red ball straight rhythm track is going to be made as well uh, i actually quite like the red ball straight rhythm that's in the game already you know the stop track but uh, i think manu had uh, whispers of he was going to make make the uh, the updated one for Red Bull Straight Rhythm. We'll stay on there. Around here, I'm going to finish this lap off before I love and leave you guys. Another right, tiny little whip there. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Thank you. Slowly over this inside roller. I think I might need to adjust my buttons at some point so that my sit down. Go and get over that. Oh, that was close. So like, currently on all motocross games that I play, my sit down button I have to hold. It's just how I've learned games. You know, I put couple thousand hours into sim and those are my controls so i feel like that's translated to every other game since but i do get a dead thumb after a while holding sit down so much uh, in the bottom right hand corner the little rider symbol that's green when it's green i'm sat down when it's not green like now i'm stood up so you can see just how much i do uh, do press the button i think it's all um all to do with like control for me so there's some situations where you want to be sat down stood up sat down like back to back really really quickly you know the fact of just trying to keep clicking and unclicking a button and work out when you are stood down and sat up is a little bit confusing to me. So I do prefer doing it on like a hold basis. Um, but I think I think that's going to do it for me. You know, really, really enjoyable. Actually, like, got an, a new, new love for the game again, even though I never fell out of love with it in the first place. And it's just really, really fun. And I'd highly recommend giving first person more of a shout if you haven't already. Um, obviously, bear in mind, hold, hold fire just a little bit if you're not enjoying it too much, uh, because when the next uh, major community update comes out, I imagine everyone will enjoy it a whole lot more, uh, especially with the new rider positioning and the new bikes physics and just the handling everything just feels so, so nice, so fluent, so natural. And there's only, only a couple, a handful of bugs that I can really uh, kind of pick out and suggest need fixing. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video regardless. If you have, if you could just drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, I'd really, really appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you guys are up to. And until I catch you in the next video, peace. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain.